This video will explain the basic principles of a spinal reflex or a reflex arc. The specific learning outcomes of this video is to understand the five main components of a simple reflex arc. Reflexes are rapid, involuntary, but pre-programmed responses that activate muscles or glands. Most reflexes are protective and thus prevent tissue damage. Therefore, reflexes must be fast and be processed and activated without the help from the brain. Thus, they are involuntary. All reflexes have five similar properties. Number one, the receptor. This is a special transducer that registers the particular stimulus and transforms it into an electrical response. Number two, the sensory or afferent neuron. The sensory or afferent neuron transmits the electrical response from the receptor to the central nervous system, thus the brain or spinal cord. Number three, the integration center. Here, the incoming electrical in information from the sensory neuron is processed, sometimes by interneuron, and it transfers the electrical impulses to the lower motor neuron. Number four, the motor or efferent neuron. This neuron sends an electrical signal out of the central nervous system, thus brain or spinal cord, to the peripheral effector, which is the gland or muscle. And then finally, number five, the effector, which could be a muscle or gland. In this case, it's a muscle. The effector responds to the electrical signal from the motor neuron, which intends to dampen or remove the original stimulus. So, let's perform an example together. In this case, the stimulus is a painful one, delivered by a nail. The painful stimulus is received by the receptor, which transforms the stimulus into electrical activity. From here, it processes the information into the sensory neuron. The sensory neuron fires and sends its signal along into the central nervous system via the dorsal root into the dorsal horn. Here, it synapses with the interneuron, which fires, sending its signal to the motor neuron that then fires out of the central nervous system to activate the muscle and move the hand off the stimulus. Simply put, there is the spinal reflex arc, which consists of five main components. The receptor, the sensory neuron, the integration center, the motor neuron, and finally the effector.